you can all you can all get the recording later on lots of people also jump on but i'm going to say look we, i know that we live in a world at the moment of, of information overload you're all getting emails left right and center about coming to certain webinars thank you for you know for taking the time of watching this one i really appreciate take really appreciate you taking 45 minutes out of your day to do this and as a result i'm going to give you as much value as I possibly can. Um, let's go then, shall we? So what's the purpose of this webinar? What is it I really want to give you? Well, you know, I'm not just going to show you some things about LinkedIn because, you know, you've all got a LinkedIn account. I want to show you ways that you can get business from it um, because you really can. This is a tool that can connect you to just about any business, any market in the world. Most people don't make it work because they don't understand the interest, interests of it. For the last six years, all I've done is get business from LinkedIn. Um, I know it inside out, and it changes a lot, but I'm going to show you today things that really, really work. So uh, have a pen and paper ready. This is going to be a really powerful session for you. And I'm also going to show you how I can help you moving forward as well. Um, get the most, of, most from the webinar. I've just turned my laptop off because I had the ashes on. <laughs> so um, give us your full attention. Yeah, just, just, just switch your emails off for 45 minutes. Turn your web browser off because I don't want you to miss anything. Make sure you've got a pen and paper ready. Give this your full attention because it's going to be a great session. Um, just to quickly overrun about who I am really, really quickly. Been in sales for 20 years. I've been LinkedIn training for over four years now, um, and I love what I do. Um, I was struggling in sales massively about five years ago. Couldn't get any leads. Trying all the traditional things. Stumbled across LinkedIn. Within 24 hours, I was connecting with top decision makers, getting conversations, getting meetings, and making sales. And I just thought, wow, this is awesome. And as a result of that, I started a LinkedIn training business. And you know, I've trained thousands of people. I've uh, been all through America. I've trained people in Australia, uh, all over the UK. Businesses that you can right across the spec, you know, right from your builders right through to solicitors and barristers, professional advisors. It's all based around one one simple thing showing people how to get business um, because people come up to me and they say I've got a great product but I don't know how to get it to the right people LinkedIn's the best tool ever created for getting through to the right people I walk the walk as well you know I I practice what I preach on LinkedIn every single day uh, and that's a really important thing because everything I coach is what's happening right now you know the things I'm going to show you today I've been doing this morning uh, LinkedIn involves all the time uh, what you may have learned six months ago is different now the attitudes are different the people are different the approach needs to needs to be in line with what's going on in the market so that's my background um, if you want to get business from LinkedIn this is all you need to do all you need to do not over complicate it now we've been trying to do this in business for the past what thousand ten thousand years just do this just concentrate on doing this find people you can help give them some evidence that you can add value, then make the right approach. You know, I, I hate being sold. Don't sell at me. I hate being sold too. We all do. When someone sells at you, we just we, instantly a big barrier comes up. But if someone approaches me in the right way with some real evidence, I mean evidence what other people are saying, that you can solve one of my problems and you make the right approach, and why wouldn't I want to talk to you? That's what we want. We've all got problems. Everything, you all do things on here. All of you, network marketing, whether you're, you're selling something, you're all solving problems for people. Find the people on LinkedIn with those problems. Write a profile that gives them evidence that you can really solve that problem. Then make the right approach. If you do that, LinkedIn will work fantastically for you. Let me just show you now uh, some great things on LinkedIn about how you can do that. I'm just going to jump on my profile now. We've got Stavros on there. But I'm going to go back to my profile. One of the first things you, know, you, you need to think about with LinkedIn is time management because you might have had a go with LinkedIn and, and, and if you're not careful, you, you, you totally lose track of things. It just sucks your time away. You, know, you can go on LinkedIn and you, before you, an hour's gone and you don't know what you've done and you lose track of contacts, what's going on. If you can do this for me, this would be a, a, a fantastic first step and it will help you manage your time much more efficiently. Now, when I jump on LinkedIn, I don't sort of go, oh, what do I do now? Where do I go? First thing I do is I go to my connections like this and I go to keep in touch. And then I go down here, filter by all contacts. Here we go, tag. And I go straight to where it says hot list. Can you see? And this is my hot list right now of, of contacts that I want to stay in contact with, that are of interest to me. Either they're interested in my services as a, as a trainer, they are in the process of introducing me to people, they are 
hot contacts, people maybe I've just connected with, but I work through this list. So I jump on LinkedIn, I go straight here, and people come in and out of my hot list straight away. So I can I can go this guy here, I can take him out of my hot list. If I just go to a new connection on here, I might go down here and find a new connection here. Let's have a look. Let's uh, let's go on here and I'm going to keep in touch. So let's say I've just been. Let's go up here now and let's show you an introduction. So someone introduces me to somebody. Uh, let's have a look. So let's go down here. Okay, uh, here we go. Neil Tom's very kindly introduced me to somebody. This guy here. Okay, first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go tag and I'm going to put him in my hot list. There we go, straight away. So now. All the people that I connect with, all the people that are found on a search, all the people I think, yeah, I want to speak to, have accepted my connection, rather than trying to go up here, you know, remembering their name, writing it down, lists of paper. Or where, you know, time is so important these days. Just go on here, create your hot list, keep in touch, contacts, tag, oops, does that all the time. Tags, boom, hot list, here we go. And then my list of hot contacts. Uh, you know, speak to one of these guys. I might go down here to relationship. Whatever he says to me, I can put notes in there as well. I can talk about what he likes, what he wants, what he's after. Let's say we have a con, and, and, and nothing becomes of the connection. That's okay. I'll just take him straight out of the hot list and I'll save it, and away he goes. So, and and creating a hot list, nice and easy. Let me just show you how to do that. So you've got this. Uh, you can do this from any contact. It doesn't matter where it says relationship. You go on here. You go to tag. Come down here where it says add new tag. Type in here hot list like that. Save it. I'll just do this so you can see it. Save it. There we go. Go to contacts you like. Tag on here. Put them in your hot list. And there we are. And so that's the first thing I want you to do. It'll help you manage your time. So much more effectively on LinkedIn. So and one of the things that you can do is straight away to build your hot list, just go, don't worry about people that you want to connect with. Just look at your first line network and build your hot list from there and start to nurture it. So if I go to advanced people search, if I just go on first line, can you see that? Now first line connections are people that are already connected to me. So if I now do a search on that, okay. This is my network here. I can start going through here. And I can go, yep, this guy here. Yep, I should be talking to this guy. I'm going to stick him in my hot list. There he is. And save it. And if you want to find out, maybe you haven't spoke to people for a while, down here just collates all the information, things that you've said about them. So I can go back now. And I can go next page. Oh, yeah. Bill Leach and spoke to him for a while. We were talking last year. Do you know what? I want to speak to the next couple of days. I'll stick him in my hot list. There we go. Save on that. Okay. So now do that. Go through your first line connection and build your hot list off of exciting contacts, people that you should be talking to. Because, you know, you go away, you come back, you think, I need to spend some time on LinkedIn today. Half an hour a day. That's all you need to do. You just go straight into connections, keep in touch. Boom. Contacts tag hot list there it is and there these guys are and you know you, you might be able to talk uh, have a chat with Bill he says at the moment not doing too much not a problem get a tag take him out my list and save it and he's gone so really all of your LinkedIn activity needs to be based around keeping your hot list as hot with contacts as possible you know as soon as someone introduced me to someone I put them in my hot list I know once in my hot list I will talk to them at some stage so don't be you know struggling with time management and stuff create your hot list initially build it with all your first line contacts don't have any more than sort of half a dozen two dozen in there initially put put the contacts from your first line in there and start to push them out the people that aren't talking to you or don't want to talk to you or not interested at the moment start to bring new people in so really the way to the way to get business on linkedin is to keep your hot list as hot as possible and that'll just drive things it's a great focal point to actually do that okay let's talk now about about building a, a prospect list what i'm going to do is i'm just going to ask you all a question um and i want to find out really who are the people that you all want to engage today? Um, and 
whatever you come up with let's just launch that now so you got it okay whatever you come up with I'm going to now build a prospect list for you and I'm going to show you how to save that list and engage the people sales directors hey sales directors are looking pop and business owners and sales directors okay who else we got all of you are voting out I really appreciate why don't solicitors ever get a mention no one ever wants to talk to solicitors because they charge you too much money this is free we're trying to engage them here um, business owners okay all right you all want to speak to business owners let's have a look at that let's have a look at that shall we thanks for that that's great we'll, we'll concentrate on business owners make sure you can see my screen okay let's go back now and I'll show you how to get I'll show you how to find business owners let's build a prospecting list now of business owners and I'm going to show you a way that you can engage them and start conversations go up here we're going to go to what you see advanced search you see that up there that's why you've all got it this is all on the free version I'm not doing anything on the premium here but the moment you press the advanced search bang you open up what I would call a CRM database of literally millions of people it really is that good um, you know now it's business owners we're looking for right the first thing is I'm going to go down to job title there you see and I'm going to put in here guess I'm going to put in their owner okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go owner or managing director like that okay and I'm going to set that to current now if I ask LinkedIn to return that it's going to come back with tens of thousands of people so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to refine it a little bit more so I'm going to ask to look in recruitment okay let's look in recruitment so I'm looking for you want to pick a vertical market so think about vertical markets if I wanted to what I could do is I could go recruitment not finance so I'm asking for fine recruitment but not finance I'm starting to, to, to really focus on the recruitment market there uh, location make sure you put a location in um, I'm gonna put the UK in here now a lot of people will say to me how do you find companies how do you find big companies uh, I want to find I want the small one-man bands on big companies don't go on here uh, company size they're all sort of premium versions but they all sort of premium but most people just don't simply don't bother to put that information in particularly managing directors so you risk just losing them you risk just not seeing that if you want to find big companies the best way to do it is use your postcode now I'm going to go EC1 10 mile radius as the center of London so I know that most of the companies there are going to be pretty big think about it most big companies huddle together in certain areas of the country if you want finance you know Bournemouth believe it or not a lot of financial companies there again the center of and for one for wanted IT I might go RG1 M4 corridor you got Microsoft Oracle so if you ever want to go smaller companies go more rural so EC1 10 mile radius that's going to throw back quite a few companies now what I'm going to do here is see where it says relationship what I really want is my second line connections not the first line because I've already connected with those and hopefully spoken to them I want my second line because it's second line connections that are one introduction away from me these are the people I can introduce to so pick that on there and let's see what that chucks back shall we let's have a little look right there's a lot of people there can you see 1118 results that's too much for a prospecting list you want to get it down to below 250 at the, at the very very most so I'm going to try to whittle this down a little bit more let's take out managing director and just stick with owner let's just refine that and let's see what that comes back as 738 okay um, all right let's go in here let's go recruitment and software so now we're looking at IT recruitment companies so let's see what that brings back what do we got now 174 that's a nice list to work from when you build your prospect list keep it at around this number and explain why so really this is a process what you want to do now on a Monday or a Tuesday if you want to start to get LinkedIn into your lead generation do a nice search like this find about 200 of people in your target market use keywords title postcode and that's all you need to use don't be trying to use anything else here use and or or not to focus more on 
on your market. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to save that search in here. Here we go, recruitment software, and I'm going to save that like this. So that's now my prospecting list, now I've built prospect list. I'm going to go back here, and let's say I go out, play Fisbury in the park, and I come back and go, right, I now need to see if I can generate some leads from LinkedIn. I don't now need to be, what do I do and where do I go from here? I've got a system going. I go straight to the advanced search. I go up here to the save search, which I've done already. There it is. There's my prospecting list. Okay. So potentially now I've got 174 people that I could speak to. And you see where it says second here? That means they're all one introduction away from me. So what do I do now? Well, it's pretty straightforward, really. I want to now see who the mutual connection actually is. You see? Clicking where it says shared connections. All these guys here are my first line connections. And I'm looking for people that I know well. And it's quite speculative at this point. You know, I'm not too worried. It's a bit of a triangle, really. What I want to do now is I want to send off as many introduction requests as I can. And then over the next sort of week or two weeks, start to deal with the introductions as they come in. And it's just like setting something in motion. So all these people really I could, I'd, I'd like to talk to if I'm looking for business owners with uh, in IT recruitment in, in London. You can see here we're all, we're all hitting the mark really nicely. Now, Jeff Bowen is my old boss. Andy Grant I know really well. Dawn Tunbridge. We've got uh, Jet. The people right here I know that can introduce me to these people, which is great. Hopefully you can see, you know, in terms of a prospecting list, what we've got here. It's not just a prospecting list. It's actually given me who knows who. It's given me opportunities for introductions. I've seen already several people that can introduce me. So first thing I'm going to do then is I'm going to have a look here at Chris Fielder. Let's have a look. Managing Director, Recruitment Specialist Engineer. He's a business owner, recruitment software. He's right in my target market. Perfect. What do I do from here now? Well, a mistake would be to go for a direct connect. You know, we've done business together and, and stuff because straight away, you know, we don't like that sort of thing. Don't do that. That's a mistake. Um, sending an email, again, doesn't work that well because that, that will become a pitch. You know, it's difficult to send an email to someone without pitching. It is a pitch. So what I want to do, I want to leverage my existing network. And so this will only happen if you spend some time building your network but I'll go down here and I can now get introduced here we go okay and LinkedIn sets this up really really nicely uh, you can give you a nice template go down here out of the two and is the one I know best and then I connect on LinkedIn he knows me I know him I know he'll help me out with an introduction okay now what's important is this message here now I've got a guide here, which is accompanied in all my training. It's session three, which is a, an hour session that, that we go through together. Uh, I've talked about what we do here, but I'm going to take this first message as an example. Okay. Now, this first message is something that I've developed over, over literally five years. And it might, seem, it might not seem much, but it's, it, it's subtle, and it just gets a really good response. And I'll show you how, how it, I'll, I'll go through it now with you. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go, hi, Andy. Now, the reason why you need to make sure this message is, is laid out in the right way is because Chris will see the message. Because all Andy's going to do is forward this. So I know Chris is going to see this. So what I don't want to do is say, Andy, can you introduce me to Chris? I want to talk to him about blah, 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 sell to him. And straight away, ugh, it's not going to work out. LinkedIn is a lousy tool for selling. It's brilliant for starting conversations. And once you start a conversation, selling them becomes nice and nice and straightforward it's not selling that's difficult it's starting conversations so hi Andy how are things with you it's designed to get him to respond I'm hoping to strengthen my network it's nice and easy wording strengthen my network it's nice and easy it's, let's not be too aggressive here take it take the pressure off the situation you know I want to strengthen my network by connecting with top and big the guy up a little bit I'm going to go here I'm going to go top business owners and directors just to cover things yep within software recruitment based in the city there we go so we've got that oops let's do this so you got this right okay okay right now I'm gonna put the guy's name in here Chris 
a connection of yours is someone who fits the bill perfectly. Yeah, again, nice and easy. If you consider me putting on his radar with the introduction, I'd be most grateful. You see, it's all pleases and it's nice and easy at the moment. And I'm going to go, thanks, Andy, again. Can you let me know your thoughts on this? I'm not going to leave a question mark at the end there. I'm just going to send that off just like that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy that. Okay. And I'm going to send that off for an introduction. There we go. Now, now I've got that message saved. I've now got a template I can use for the other ones because they're all in the same market, aren't they? This is why it's good to go for your target market. So let's just jump back to that list. And now if I look at LinkedIn again, let's have a look at... Uh, Joe Payne, let's see if I can know anyone here. Ooh, look at this guy here. What have we got down here? Philip Adams, perfect. Okay. Actually, let's have a look at this guy here. There we go. What I want is, okay, guy up here, co owner, perfect. Go down here now, get introduced. Now I've got that message set up. All I need to do, paste that in there. Is swap the names around because business owners and software equipment based in the city is going to mean it's going to be the same, isn't it? Because it's all on that list. This is really good for optimizing your time. I'm now going to go, hi, Jeff. How are things with you? Swap the names around and I'm going to send that off. And really, I'm going to spend, I would spend probably about an hour, an hour and a half. And what I want to do, my goal really is, let's just jump back to this search so you can see it. But my goal really here is to get as many introductions as well as I can, maybe even up to 40, okay? Just go down here, working through this list, and looking at people here, making sure they're hitting the right sort of mark here. This guy here, Phil Summerfield, perfect. Go down here, introduction, there's one. Pick out Phil, sit there, boom. Swap the names around and send that off. So that's your first step with, with, with getting real engagements with LinkedIn. A lot of it is critical on how well you actually build your network in the first place. So just reconnect with, with people that you know really well, business cards, all that sort of stuff, okay? So once you've done that, really, um, your goal then is to sit back and just wait for the responses to those messages. Let me show you a couple of messages here as an example. Um, I like doing this because you know, it just goes to show that I do this every day and it really, really works. Um, what do we got here? Here we go. There's a nice, nice example of this working in the real world. Uh, Jamie is someone that I know well, I've done lots of training for, so he's a good contact of mine. Um, Steve Harrison, he's a first contact now, but he's a sales director for BT. Hi, Jamie. How are things with you? I'm hoping to strengthen my network. We're getting top sales directors in the Reading area. Steve is a connection of yours. It fits the bill perfectly. Okay. Hi, Steve. I hope you're well. So let's just jump back a minute and I'll show you that message. Um, there we go. No, let's go back again. There you go. That's it right there. Look, there's my first message. Hi, Steve. I hope you're well. I just wanted to forward a request from Adam. Recently had an excellent LinkedIn training for my team and it might be of interest. Can you see now, Steve, he's in, he's in on the call now and he's seen this first message, so he's read the whole thing. So that's why you need to make sure this first message is nice and easy, it's nice and soft. Remember, people are getting bombarded these days with everything, so just make humanize your approach. Now, what do I do from here? Well, I'm going to do a reply all. There we go. And I'm going to keep Jamie in the loop. Keep you all because it's now instead of a two-way conversation, which is a bit a bit more intense, it's still three-way. Takes the pressure off it a little bit. And all I want to do now is get a response from Steve. Nothing else, nothing more than this. No more than this. Okay. Gonna go back to my guide again that you'll get in my training, and we're gonna copy this. I'm gonna move it over here and I'm gonna show you another great message to send. There it is, all you're gonna send. Just obviously put the names in there. Hi Steve, hope you're well. I'm really grateful Jamie introduced us, and this is the key. Would it be okay with you if I send over an invitation to join my network, Best Adam Booth? I'm going to send that off. Now that is designed to get to get a response. Uh, you can see here, uh, this is the kind of response that you get. Yep, absolutely fine. Thanks, Steve. Now that's already got them talking. They've already got so psychologically now 
it's much easier to start to move forward. And when someone accepts your connection, let's just jump on to uh, a connection here to give you an example. So when someone accepts your connection, you get uh, an email coming through and you get an alert. So let's have a look at someone here now. Let's have a look at, uh, doesn't really matter, so look at Regan. So let's have a look at now. Let's, let's say that I've done that. I've done the process. I got introduced to her and she said, yes, you can connect with me. I've now connected with her. Right. This is absolutely critical here. This is where you, this is where the iron is hot. This is, this is where most people go horribly wrong. Because when you connect with someone that you want to speak to, a client, a contact, someone that you know you can help in business, you need to, you need to keep it going. Yeah. Worst thing you could do here now is pitch. That's it, it, it's the worst thing. I know that you've all been pitched on LinkedIn. I know that people have pitched at you. And I know what you've done. You've ignored it. It's instantly turned you off. Because, do you know what? I don't need another person pitching at me. I must get 20, 30 a day. I, I, I don't need it. I don't want it. Particularly not on LinkedIn. So this is about making a, uh, making a really fundamental connection with someone. So again, if I look in here, go down. That's a, that's a typical pitch, by the way. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's absolutely dreadful. Uh, but look, that there. This sets it up real nice. Okay, there we go. That there, and I'm going to go here, subject, great to connect, like this. Okay. So, thank you. Hi, Regan. Thank you so much for accepting my invitation. I'm sure this will be a mutually productive connection. If there's anything I can do to help you or your business, please don't hesitate to ask. And you know what? First thing I'll do is I'm going to go down here. I'm going to stick her in my hot list. There we go. I'm going to save that, and I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to give it a week. Okay. Now, if they respond saying, thank you, Adam, and likewise, it's a real bonus. I can then go on with the conversation. But I'm not expecting them to respond. But they've had something there real good. They think, great, brilliant. Now, a week later, remember you're doing this five, six, seven, eight times a day with new, with new connections. I go back, I play Fisbee in the park. Dog bites my leg. I come back and I want to start to, I want to move my, my LinkedIn forward. First thing I'm going to do, rather than being all confused, Connections, keep in touch. Contacts, tag. There we go, hot list. You see how it all fits together real nice. Oh yeah, we go now, go on here. Trail of messages here, but um, oh yeah, I remember sending you that message. It's been a week, now I want to engage her. What am I going to do from here? Well, this is your, your engagement message, really. Send her a message like that. Okay, now remember it's been a week. Now, What's really important, at some point you do have to push things forward, but I'm going to take all the pressure off the situation. I just want to get a talking at this point. The hardest thing in sales is not selling, it's getting conversations started. It's getting people on a level playing field, and they will always ask about what you do and how they can help. So don't worry too much. It's not about me now pushing my service. It's about getting a conversation going with this person. So what am I going to do and how am I going to do it? Well, there's a big part in my guide that sort of runs through exactly how to how to do all this. But let me show you briefly a great technique here. Now, we have here a wealth of information, a wealth of information that we can use to build a personal approach. OK, now some profiles are better than others. Um, we can see on here, I managed to pick a profile This isn't the best, but that's OK. Uh, let's have a look at what we can go with here. Um, right, what's she set up here? Finding great people that can sell and generate leads. OK, right, maybe I, I may be able to use that. Let's, let's take that and let's put this in the message here. Something I could probably use, what we got here. All right, she's just, she's not really talking about what she does here. She's talking about herself. What have we got here? OK. How long has she been a recruitment consultant for? Since 2002. Wow. All right. Well, she's been doing it for 13 years. Well done. Talk about that. That's important to her. Anyone that can survive in recruitment for 13 years is doing something right. What else have we got that we can use? I haven't got a lot to go on here. And some profiles are fantastic. This is pretty light. So it's a good example. Uh, what is she? How big is the company that she works for? Let's have a look. Let's just make sure that's safe. Let's have a little get an idea here. 11 people in the company. All right, so she's got 11 people. Fair enough. Go on here again. All right. So now I've got that. 
uh, 11 people. And what else does she do on here? Specialist agency based, the company was founded. Uh, sales recruitment, okay, fantastic. All right. All right, so what I can do from here now is I can say, uh, hi, Reagan. I was just going through your profile, hope you don't mind. By the way, you've been in recruitment for 13 years. I think that's fantastic, well done. Wow, straight away, that's, wow, you know, thanks, this is going to think. Um, I love that you're always looking for great people that can sell and generate leads and you specialize in sales recruitment. Um, just to let you know, um, I love helping people just like you. I worked with a recruitment agency of about 15 people last month that also focused on, on great salespeople. They weren't in your area, but when I worked with them, I gave them some techniques that enabled them to get through to people, find the right salespeople, and as a result of that, they're, they're, they're getting so much more uh, inbound business. And you know what? Since we've connected, I'd love to see if I can help you in a similar way. Uh, if, that, if that's interesting, and I hope that it does, let's have a chat. Let me know a good time to call. You see how I take the pressure off the situation? I keep it, I keep it personal. It's my wording there. But I haven't got, like I said, it's not the best profile in the world there. But I've, I've mentioned certain things that other people simply wouldn't do. Fantastic that you've been in recruitment for 13 years. Wow, why well, he knows that. He's, look, he's taking time. Look at my profile. Yeah, sure. Let's have a chat. Don't be booking appointments. Don't be trying to arrange appointments here. Take the pressure off it. Nobody wants to... No, nobody wants to be connected and start having to book appointments and what's the good time to call or anything. Um, if you're open to the idea, and I hope that you are, hope that you are, as we're now connected on LinkedIn, let's have a quick chat. Looking forward to speaking to you. Just oof, take it off. When I do speak to her, first thing I'm going to say is, wow, tell me, Regan, how have you survived in recruitment for 13 years? I'm going to sit right back. I'm going to let her tell me all about that. Totally soften it up. Brilliant. And then I've got to open and then we're talking. Can you see how that works? That right there is how to get business from LinkedIn in a nutshell. And 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 I and I, I promise you, it works so well. Let's just summarise what what I've done there. And what I can do here, obviously, is type in here, you know, information about her, personal information, or whatever that I can use for engagement. Uh, I can then move forward. I can then either decide to maybe take her out of the hot list, put her in again. But I'm constantly going in here. I'm taking introductions, I'm putting people in the hot lists, and I'm working them accordingly, working them accordingly. But let's just, you know, if I can jump back a step, but first thing I want you to do is build a hot list. Then I want you to build a prospecting list. And I want you to go through that list, start getting quality introductions from people. Send 40, 50 off, sit back, go to the park, get bitten by a dog, come back, and start looking at all the messages that come through. You'll get all sorts of messages, forwarding requests and stuff. Send that message. Is it okay to connect? Connect with them. Nice, easy message. Great, great we've connected. If I can help you out, great. Stick them in your hot list. You give it a week. You come back. You look at their profile. And you make an approach, which is not about you. It's important to them. And that is what nobody does on LinkedIn. And I promise you, you'll be a breath of fresh air. And boy, would it make a huge difference for you. Um, just to give you a bit of a heads up, though, because I have, you know, gone through this pretty pretty quickly just be aware um, that the first thing that people will see is your LinkedIn profile and if your LinkedIn profile isn't laid out and worded in the right way then you know you can spend all the time in the world making approaches to people but they simply won't be that engaged because it's like well you know I can't really see any any value here or anything so it's really important that you spend some time and you you crystallize what your value is to the people that you want to engage. So don't be writing an online CV. Don't say, "Hi, I'm a uh, I'm a I'm a printer or a web designer, and this is what I've been doing." It's of no interest to anybody. When you write your profile, ask yourself this question: Who is it that I want to speak to in the next six to twelve months? that is going to make the biggest result in my business. Write that down. Then you write a profile that's going to resonate with them. Keep it, you know, less is more. This is not about packing your profile with loads and loads of information. You know, start here with a professional headline. Um, you know, if I was to, let's just see if we can bring Stavos in the call. Stavos, you there? Stavos, you there? I'm here, mate. Brilliant. Yeah. 
Yeah, let me just bring your profile. Hear me. Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Great. Can you hear me? Yeah, let me just have a look I at your profile. You. Yeah, let me look at your profile a minute. Okay, this is a good example, right? Stab boss here. Look at your profile, yeah? Yeah. There's nothing here that's making me want to talk to you. I can't go, oh, brilliant, you know, and, and that's what people they look at your profile. So it's about positioning, okay? So Ooh. up here, like, like we talked about, it's the first thing that people will see, professional yeah. headline, yeah? Distribute to utility warehouse. I may not know what utility warehouse is. is. What are you? What, do you work in a warehouse? Yeah. You, uh, you know, it's nothing there. Uh, you know, so when you connect with someone, you're not going to get that initial interest. So, you know, I know that you want to speak to business owners. You know, network marketer, helping business owners and professionals build a second sustainable income. Freeing business owners from the tyranny of life. <laughs> it's a bit strong, that. But, um, you know, uh, helping business owners uh, gain a second income and enjoy their wealth. Or maybe helping people. Uh, helping people succeed in network marketing would be a great thing to put there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then when you go yeah. down here, Stavos, what I want to see here, yeah, and this goes for everyone on the call. Tell me there, not don't be packing it with all your services and all the things that you can do because I don't want to know about that. I, don't, I just don't. Okay. Tell me there why you do what you do. So why, Stavros, are you in the utility warehouse? What drives you to do that? Yeah. Tell me now, what drives you to do it? Um, I believe that every parent, both male and female, father and mother, should take or be able to take their children to school and pick them up from school. And I find a way for them to do that. Do you know what? what? Yeah. Okay. 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 Sorry, I cut it in there. But what you're saying there tells me more about you than anything else. I know, yeah. What you just said there tells me you're sincere, you're passionate. You are uh, a great guy. If you really, if that drives you, what a great guy. Now, you put that in your summary, that's what I want to see. If I see that and I like that, I want to talk to you. So yeah. this goes for everyone on the call. Don't be putting the what and the how, which no one's interested. What you do and how you do it, I don't want to know at this point. I want to know why you do it. So tell me individually, each of you, why do you do what you do? You put that in your summary, nothing else. I see that. Now, what you've told me there, Stavos, is you're passionate about helping parents spend more time with their children, you know, um, helping them pick up from their, you know what, I want to speak to you. You sound like a great guy. Yeah, yes. that's all it is, that basic communication. Love it. That's brilliant. Thanks, Davos. I hope that's been helpful. Um, good. Great stuff. Um, just looking back at my, my profile, once you, once you make all these big statements, you go down here and you do all this, back it up with as much evidence as you can. Um, get as much evidence as you can going. I'm going to save some time for questions at the end. I can see it quite, quite a few guys there have got some questions. Not a problem. We'll do that in a minute. Um, but skills and endorsements here. Get as much evidence as you can. Move this to just below your summary so we can all see it. Yeah. Recommendations. Get, in, get as many of these as you can. More recommendations, the better. Because you're backing up what you're saying with as with with, with actual evidence, just a bit of it, uh, a bit of advice or recommendations. Um, see, I've got like 300 odd here. The, the way to get recommendations is when you're asked to be recommended, go on here and you sort of go through all this, which is pretty self-explanatory. But the point here is do it one at a time. Stick anyone here for now. I just want to show you something. Don't send that where you recommend me. You've got no control over it whatsoever, is it? Right. I'm going to get rid of that, and I'm going to guess. Uh, I'm going to say hi, Catherine. I really hope you enjoyed my LinkedIn training course. If you did, could you please take the time and write me the following recommendation? Number one, what am I going to say? What does my headline say up here? You remember, it's evidence. Do you now feel that you can use LinkedIn to gain real new leads and book genuine appointments? My second thing, my second question is, how would you rate my knowledge of LinkedIn and B2B sales? My third one is, would you recommend me to other business owners? What am I going to get back now? As a result of Adam's training, I can get it's going to back up directly. What you're going to be saying, what I want you to say, and I'm backing up this now. So all I need to do is build my hot list, do a search for business owners and sales directors that need to increase their sales. Quite a few of those around. Connect with them and go through this process. And I just sit here and I can have conversations with with key people. Yes, it doesn't always work. It's a bit like a triangle, but after doing it for six years, um, most people that I help 
get fantastic results by doing this because um, you know LinkedIn is such an underrated tool for the hardest thing in business which is which is starting conversations and and getting those sales um, so work on your profile uh, keywording layout is a, you know, I spend an hour on this when I do the when I do my training course we go through it together wording positioning is really important then you need to grow a network you know you want to grow your network reconnecting all your business cards go through your CRM connect with all the people that you've known in business over the last five years those are the people that know like trust you um, but there's some some great techniques for that as well um, moving forward then um, what I want to do so I'm going to save some time for some questions at the end I got what I call my LinkedIn online workshop and I absolutely love doing these um, they're selling out at the moment but I have a, a maximum of eight people on there the reason why I have a maximum of eight people on there is because we have three one-hour sessions I promise you if I was to sit for three hours I'd overwhelm you with knowledge you'd be like oh, go away I can't take any more and you'd just go in one ear straight out the other three one-hour sessions in the morning starting on the 14th 21st and 28th of July 9 till 10 I save half an hour at the end for questions they're recorded you get the you get the you get the recordings directly afterwards you get all my manuals I've shown you here the manuals here that I these are the actual manuals that you get um, you know the step-by-step -step questions exactly how to do it messaging templates really how to do the advanced search all the parameters to use it's all in here so you get three specialist training videos now I'm only asking for 90 pounds for that I'll tell you why because I used to charge loads of money to go in and train companies I can leverage this fantastically um, there's no training cost there's no training room costs for me uh, I want to help as many people as possible uh, you know I'm one of the best UK tra I'm the best trainers around in LinkedIn I say that you look at my, my recommendations I always get fantastic results for people I just want to help people out I really do um, so for a low investment what you will get is uh, first session we look at profile we'll go through positioning wording how to set that up second session I'll show you how to grow your network create that uh, hot list manage it build it in the right way third session we will go through in detail the engagement process wording and you know you all chip in we talk together it's not just you sitting there watching a video this is interaction we share screens it's a it's a it's a really really great course and you know if you're sitting there right now and, and LinkedIn is still a bit of a mystery if I show you some stuff today it's made you think bloody hell you know look make the investment I'll give you I'll give you the money back if it's not fantastic but I want to help as many people I've already done one of these this month I'm putting another one in because they're getting so popular but you know I love helping people and I hope I get the opportunity to uh, to help you all today so um, that's a huge thank you for me what I'm gonna do I know we're sort of ending we're coming up with towards sort of quarter to 12 so if people jump off I will understand but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna you know if, anyone, if anyone's got any questions about what I've covered today uh, tell me because um, I'll answer them right now I've got the hands raised here um, hello uh, a couple of questions here I've got it saying friend here so uh, what do we got here Richard is that you there you got a question uh, let's have a look here uh, any questions Andrew Diane has that been useful for you got any questions at all from what we've covered Let's have a look here. Okay, let's have a look. See if we've got any questions. Let's have a look at Mark. Mark, how was that? Was that useful? You got any questions about what I've covered? Yeah, no, that was uh, really useful. Thanks, Adam. Um, yeah, I think it's. I know you and I had a conversation nearly a sure. year ago now, and I think some of these techniques that you've sort of uh, obviously, as you said, tweaked um, look amazing. I mean, you know, I've got probably in excess of I think about seven, eight hundred contacts on LinkedIn, and I could sort of spend probably the next sort of few weeks sitting there. Uh, going through all of those contacts and tapping into them just with the information that you showed me just now so yeah it's been amazing. yeah I mean uh, first thing you want to do is um, first thing you want to do is build your build your hot list yeah take them out yeah. get them in there and then what that will do is it help you manage your time it's easy then once you get your hot list you go in there and just work your hot list rather than this oh my god what do I do what do I do which is um, always a always an issue mark so thanks for that yeah got a question from Richard here uh, hi Richard how are you doing oh, Richard's in a sounds like you got your head out of a train window 
Richard, are you there? Let's have a look. We've got a question from Richard. Um, what's he saying here? Uh, as was individuals, I'd like to extract some point to say spreadsheet. Oh, okay. Yeah, all right. You want to you wanna export the contacts, right? Okay, that's nice and easy. Uh, go, to, go to connections. Keep in touch. There we go. Go in here. Go on, LinkedIn. Chugging away. Right. See a little cog up there in the top right-hand corner. Hit that. Export LinkedIn connections. This is one of the, one of the best secrets about LinkedIn. Uh, export on here. Okay. One, seven, eight. Boom. There we go. Exported. There we go. All my contacts now are in Excel spreadsheet. Here you go. And I can upload that into MailChimp or Constant Contact. I can even do a data source, segment them down. Uh, and that's a great way to build your, your email list. So, uh, no, it doesn't, Richard. It, uh, Richard's asking if it takes the notes you made about them. No, it doesn't, unfortunately. Uh, it, it will only take basic information like name, email address, and it gives you a company name and job title, which which, which can be really useful as well. Um, so, okay, what have we got here? Uh, any more questions? Please, please do raise your hand if you've got questions. Uh, Stavos, question. What we got? Hi. Um, well, with network marketing, Adam, yeah. we tend to either have a full-time job and then do network marketing as a part-time thing yeah. until the, it takes over. So how do you advise someone who's got two, in, two industries but one LinkedIn? Because I did yeah, have what a great question. Yeah. I had two LinkedIn, but I don't want that anymore. So, what's your advice on that? Yeah. That's one question. And second okay. question, your calls, do you do them regularly? Because those three dates, I've got things booked, and I'm okay. pleased with that now. Okay. 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 <laughs> so yeah, there's two questions. Yeah, I do them. I'm, I'm I run them every month, so they'll be. Uh, I'll give you the link for. Uh, for next month as well so if you've got that they do fill up really quickly so I don't have any more than eight on them because you know you get it's almost like one-to-one -one training when we all talk amongst each other but my next one is in August so I'll send you the link for that as well I think you've got you've all probably got an email now about my course in July but I'll also send one about August as well but um, remember as well it's, if you miss one or two of those sessions it's okay because they're recorded you get the recordings anyway so you do get those recorded sessions so you know, quite a few people say I can make two, but I can't make all three. Not a problem. You get that recording. Let's ask this first question that you've got. Uh, what's someone flipping on the, the keyboard here? Let's just make sure. I think that's Richard. Sounds like you're sounds like you're trying to play a xylophone with a with an axe. Right, Stavos. Here we go then. What you want to do then? A lot of people will say, "Oh, do I need several LinkedIn accounts?" No, you don't. Um, position yourself up here at a high level about the value that you do. And you just go down here and create several positions, okay? So you might want to put in here. So what you you, you got a couple of positions, right? Uh, yeah, and that, that that led on to a bit about how many jobs do you put on previous? Do you keep that minimum as well then? Um, less is more. Less is more. Uh, you, you you don't want to be writing out loads and loads of stuff in there. Um, but just you know, and and further back you go, put less and less. But what's yes. important about about profiling is key wording here. You see my job title there, I've got LinkedIn sales coach, LinkedIn for business and LinkedIn training because right. it's your headlines, the second most optimized thing on LinkedIn. So yeah. you want to put as many keywords in there as possible. So think about this. Let's say you did network marketing for Forever Living Products 10 years ago, yeah? yeah. Let's say you did that. You'd want to put it in here because you can you can mention network marketing a couple more times, couldn't you? Yeah? yeah? So you're, you're building that up, so you're getting much more inbound. So uh, building your profile is a clever thing. You've got to think about all these things when you do it. But actually, when you put a new position on there, you can start to add more keywords in. So you can put like your main position at the top, but yeah. also your other current position. Because sometimes sure. you want how people perceive you when you're doing two things. Sure. But, you know, there are loads of massive guys in the industry all over the world that do... That, no one has their eggs in one basket, do they? Yeah. No, look at, you know, yeah. I mean, look what I've got here. I'm a, I run my, I'm a LinkedIn sales coach. Also yeah. run a franchise business, but they are the same company. They're two different things. But I've created Brilliant. two positions. Yeah. So now, when I connect with someone, let's have a connect. See if I can connect with someone. Um, 
anyone doesn't matter yeah, this guy here let's say I want to connect with this guy okay I'll go with for connect mm -hmm. I can now connect with him either as a franchise owner or a LinkedIn coach can you see yeah, so I've, so got you that, your, I've got that separation there. You initial, your initial contact, they're going to look at this bit at the top, aren't they? So if you want to go back to franchise and you're going to make this initial contact, do you still carry on the same process? Because they're going to look at you, and if it's not to do with LinkedIn coaching, but it's about franchising, what they're going to see is LinkedIn coach and not connect, not want to connect with you. Not necessarily, yeah. not necessarily. You you lead with your strongest here, okay? And there's, been, there's nothing wrong with me writing down here what I also do as well. Uh, and if um, you write your headline the right way, you can you can sit on the fence a little bit with that as well. Uh, remember okay. here, this is not about what you do, it's why you do what you do here. Right. And then you put all the what and how and the stuff that, that's actually a bit boring, but keyword rich down there with your, with your job descriptions. Brilliant. Okay. It takes time to learn, doesn't it? It does. It does. It does. Um, like I say, and you know what? If you want to, if you, if you want to, if you want to accelerate and just focus on what works, book on one of those courses. Book on my course because if not, you'll end up spending years trying to figure all this out. Um, right. And this is this is this is six years of trial and error that I'm going to give you in sessions. That it's, it's no fluff. There's no padding here. This is just what you need to do to make this work for you. Um, so thanks, it. thanks, Davos. Look forward to speaking to you real soon. Um, do we have any more questions? Let's have a look now. Not a problem. Look, Adam, just, Adam, go on. just a quick one, if yep. I may ask. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've got the uh, the training set for July, this yep. um, first one. Um, what's the what's the August date? Because I'm actually away for the whole of July. Oh, no problem. Um, okay. Look, what I'll do. Okay. I'll tell you what. If you go, if you, I'll send you, I'll send you all this link. I'll send you this link. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, I've just set this up actually. Uh, LinkedIn online workshops. Can you see? This is a, a page about my LinkedIn online workshops. He says. There you go. All right. If you, okay. I've got a program here. This is the dates. I'll drum roll in a minute. Okay. You see the dates there? There's all my dates right there. Oh, okay, so great. 5th of August. And any ones that you want to book, you just hit that and you can book the positions there. I'll send you right. all this. Uh, I'll send you a link. I'll send you a link to it all now. Uh, I'll put it through the chat box. I'll send it via email so you've got that. So you can download that as well so you've got it. But, yeah, like I say, I only have eight people on the workshop because mm -hmm. it's not you sit there and watch a video. We all talk. You all do introductions. You will really feel part of it as well. But I've sent you all an email as well about the one in July. If you can make that one, even if you can only make two out of three, remember you get all the recordings, you get the videos. So it's it's designed to be flexible like that. Okay? Cool. Fantastic. My pleasure. Well, look, I hope everyone's got a real lot of benefit out of this. That was my goal, first and foremost. Uh, I hope I get the opportunity to help you further because I know it will help you out a lot. Um, and spread the word as well if you could. I run this webinar once every two weeks. My next one is in two weeks time if you you know if you get the link if you can just forward it to people i'd really appreciate that as well and uh speak to you all real soon i'm going to find out how england are doing in the ashes let's hope we're still in and we're past 400 speak to you later thanks everyone thanks, Adam. pleasure